Good morning, everybody. It's Robert coming to you from the Old Bird Farm, and I'm out here pretty early today. Um, so I'm going to bring you guys with me while I get some odds and ends stuff done around here. I'm going to try to take down this old fence and uh, put up some Christmas decorations. All right, so I've already got some Christmas lights on the fence here. I'll have to hang out. Maybe if I'm here late enough tonight, I'll be able to show them to you guys. But there they are, the solar powered, um, and it lights up pretty. Also, here's the old bird farm and house sign kind of hard to get a good picture of this it looks better in person than it does on camera but um let me see if i can get the angle right um so you can really see uh it's just not showing up on camera but it's got this really cool design in it um it's, a, it's got a grind on it so it's really pretty when the sun hits it in the morning of course we're also dealing with kind of an overcast day but uh, it's kind of hard to get across on camera just how pretty this thing is. But I've got some more solar powered Christmas lights. So I think we're going to decorate the tractor. All right, here we go. This isn't a sponsored video or anything like this. I just want to show them to you. Um, they're pretty bright for what they are. Um, I've been impressed with them. Uh, solar power has come a long way. Uh, I know that... I used to be familiar with the solar lights, like little solar garden lights, and they never lasted very long. But these last really, really well. So I'm going to set the camera down and put them on the tractor. So I still plan on kind of fixing this tractor up. Um, Aaron and I have talked about making it pretty, uh, painting it, maybe replacing some of the sheet metal on it. I've been doing some work. But for now, it's decoration. I need to get a tire. I actually ordered a tube for the uh, the tire here so I could get that back up and the company that had the tubes sent me an email and said it'd be like 45 days before they actually got the tubes back in stock after I'd ordered it so they canceled the order so I wasn't able to get a tube for it but uh, and it's still uh, you guys saw Aaron's dad came out here and we worked on the tractor and we got it running but it's still not running very well um, when I started up, I think I think the whole thing is just tired, but I would like to uh, to get it pretty and uh, somewhat somewhat operational again. As far as doing a lot of work with the tractor, we probably won't really be doing that much anymore. Um, this nine in was an absolute blessing when I first got it. It did so much work out here and helped me clear so much. But at this point, uh, I wouldn't say that it's served its purpose. It's just, it's tired. And we've got Aaron's tractor, which is why I bought the trailer. So he and I can transport that around a little bit easier. So as long as we're using that one, the old 9N will just kind of, kind of hang out here and look good. So... My only complaint with these LED Christmas lights is that they tangle very, very easily. The wiring is just so small on it. And I'm not, I'm not a professional at decorating here. But I'll do my best. I think this will be pretty pretty cool to have the tractor lit up I am most definitely, most definitely starting from the wrong end doing this. All right, we got the little tractor all decorated for Christmas. Just got the lights wrapped around it. 
I think that when they light up at night, it should kind of sort of follow the body line, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how it looks. I got it wrapped around the back tire, over, wrapped around the steering wheel. I got to get some zip ties to uh, hold it on and make the circle. And then coming around on the top, coming back around there, down there, wrapped to this wheel, wrapped to the grill, so, or the, uh, the grill guard there. And I've got the panel charging over there. Don't worry, I'm going to pick up the packaging and throw it away in a minute. Uh, I've got the panel charging over there. I showed you guys, but you wouldn't be able to see the lights on it. Uh, they're warm, warm white lights that twinkle. So it'd be neat to see how it looks tonight. I've got the Christmas lights on this part of the barbed wire fence and down there too. These are red lights here. Those are multicolored lights that flicker down there. So... I'm going to get the uh, tractor, try to pull these cedar posts from the old fence out of the ground. So let's see how that goes. Huh, I was worried the seat was going to be, uh, there's a little bit of water on it. Oh well. Alright, see if I can haul that pile off to, to the burn pile and haul that off that we cut down yesterday while we're getting this stuff up. Also clean up my Thanksgiving mess over there. So let's let's get the tractor fired up and go ahead and fire up some time lapse music and see if we can't clear this area up a little bit. <laughs> Red clay might not have been the uh, best choice to build up the level of the road there. You know, Aaron, I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a southwest Georgia mm -hmm. muddy road. Yeah, that's, that's what most of the farms around here, most everything around here looks like. See, I wanted it to be more accurate for, you know, the area, so... <laughs> You look, know, look at your kicks. I mean, your your kicks are like. Oh yeah. You know, a long time ago, when we were first working on this road, before we had it fixed, before we ruined it by putting red clay on it, somebody had said you need to bring in some clay and that'll really hard pack on that road. And I was like, no, never, no red clay. I'm blessed that I don't have red clay. And uh, yeah, then I you went forgot. against my own word and yeah. brought in red clay. But the cool thing is is i think that now that it's wet because it was all fresh yeah so i think now that it's wet we scrape it back down and a couple nice hot days it'll dry really hard and then we'll cover it with gravel and yeah. won't have to worry about it well there's not that much on there it's only an inch or two yeah yeah it's not that much just enough to make it look like a mess it would have been fine like, except for drive it on it because we had to get back through here yeah uh it, there wouldn't have been any standing water no because it was that's just the ruts from where we pulled the trailer out and then taking some stuff this morning so yeah the worst thing that happened was driving on it while it was wet but it is what it is that's why we have a box blade welcome so. to georgia yep welcome to georgia that's it i think it's pretty though love me some red clay something wrong with you well, you, I like that nice black dirt. Oh, I love all the black dirt on the farm. I like red clay dirt roads because yeah. Jeeps. So you get stuck and have to get up underneath. Yeah, it. true that. And, and you like really weren't meaning, meaning to do anything like that. So you have like 
a pair of pants and a shirt that's not ruined already. You know, it's halfway decent. Wait a minute. And then you get under the... <laughs> we don't match. We're close, <laughs> but we don't match. But yeah, yeah, exactly. So we got the burn pile loaded back up again. Yeah, that one was hot. It, it burned mostly down. Yeah. It's still going after the, all the rain. That was one of the hottest fires I've had in a while. And I can't believe it's still burning as much as it is after all of that rain last night because it yeah. came down. It might kick up a little bit again. Yeah, I'm hoping. We know how that wisteria burns. So. Yes, it does.